Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a canvas to share today. Um, I just got the Artful Dwellings die by Tim Holtz, and the reason I got it was I was inspired by some projects that I've seen recently. Um, I'm actually subscribed to a blog called Friends in Art by Linda Kane. She's amazing. She is so talented, and like I am a copycat. And I just love seeing all everyone's ideas. And that's why I love YouTube. Because I'm not going to sell it or anything. I mean, I just get inspired by what I see and try to kind of do that. It gives me the idea. And then I can kind of run with it. But um, I don't have a picture of her work, actually. But go to her blog, Friends in Art. It's amazing. This picture I actually printed out from Google. Then I go to Google and put in Artful Dwellings. And all the different projects come up from, like that are using that and this one was Candy Colwell creativity is contagious as her blog and so she used um, you know the the metal the high polish stuff that's what kind of attracted me then this one definitely this is Ellen Vargo 1036 arts and crafts is her blog and I mean it's amazing like I love the metal look and all that stuff so and I have plenty of it so I figured I'm gonna try it so I had um, talked about this uh, the other day. I did use the foil paper. This is by the Recollections. I printed out, I mean, I, I put, um, you know, I cut these dies too. I have more to play with and I dry embossed them. And then this is a matte stack or it's the Shimmer Matte Stack by DCWV. And it's kind of like, it's pretty shimmery, but it has lots of colors in it. So they're like metallic -y co colors. So that's what I used for my houses. I did the, the roofs in silver, so I'll show you what I did. I'm, I have it up on a, a stand here so I can kind of, I think that's going to be a good view to show what I did. And I can see it better that way. But it's, a, I guess, an 8x12 canvas. I uh, took, oops, the, um, what is this, Broken China Dauber and did the edges and um, painted my letters with it too. Um, because I'm into this color blue lately. I don't know why. I mean, I made the bead dangles lately, and I got to make a whole big bead dangle with this, but, um, I just don't know if I put too much stuff on it, or if it's, like, you know, I love it. I actually think it turned out really cool. I'm happy with it. 4021 is my address. Home is where I love to be. I love home, so I am really happy with it. Um, I got several different ideas. I pulled in different things from different um, images I'd seen and also just what I have in my stash. I kind of work with that. So this is what I came up with. And I mean, I guess I could zoom in a little bit. I'll pick it up. And I, I mean, I hope. But the houses are uh, dry embossed with different embossing folders. And then I did the roofs with, it's not a chevron. What the heck is that called? a harlequin the harlequin pattern and those are done with the silver paper so and i scalloped those with my um scallop punch and made them look a little more like roofs so and then each house just has really one um focal point metal piece um i really wanted to make a face peeking out of the uh keyhole but i ended up just making i just got these from butterbee scraps i got um, quite a few things. This is um, a little clock workings piece from her. Um, I don't know if anything else on here is from her. But some of the flowers, these are the Tim Holtz flowers, but I did use, like, this is actually a die cut with the silver paper in the back, one of his tattered florals, the smallest one. Then there's a few pieces on here, the high shine ones, like this flower right here was from... Um, Oriental trading. It's weird. I just, when I ordered my beads, I saw they had these little metal flowers. So I ordered some and they were really good and they came with brads and they were super cute. So I, I mean, I should have gotten more, but, um, I had to put a little bling. It just seemed empty on the side. So I kind of went with a gold bling to just kind of pull in some of the gold. Cause I originally, I wanted it silver and I went with silver, but then I thought, well, I didn't have the silver wings. So I toned them down with some alcohol ink, but and I got those at Art Chick, the Art Chick Studio, I think. But most everything was silver of my embellishments. 
But then when I had the flowers, I was like, well, I have gold. And then so I figured I'd make the stars gold. And I just threw in a few little gold things. Um, I love this how I, I just put a bead dangle on the little, this is like the Tim Holtz. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry I don't know what anything's called. I just put whatever I have on my desk and kind of just reach for it and play and put it here and take it away. This is um, family. That was from, I think, the $1.50 bin at Michael's, and I've just had it for forever. And the, um, the numbers and letters are his grunge board pieces that are already cut out, so I just painted them. Um, and it's just stuff that I had in my stash. So it's it's only 8 by 12 so I mean I think I put pretty much everything you could put on there. Um, I used a piece of his paper first, just tore the edges, and it's just like, it's the Harlequin pattern. And um, did some stenciling and some stamping, which you really can't see after all said and done. So um, the last thing I did was I used the pit pen, the Faber-Castell pit pen, and I just went around all the images because it kind of they weren't popping as much as I wanted. So um, that was the last thing I did. Let's see. Oh, I love this little angel too. She's, I made her. Um, that's a little kit you could buy. I had, I've had them forever and I have tons more. And you just paint them up and um, I just thought she, there was a hole there and I thought, okay, she's going there. And then I dangled this little charm from um, one of his little, whatever, hitch fastener. Yay, I actually got a name. Uh, the hitch fastener there. I just had this in my stash, this little heart, so I tied in the heart there. And what else? I don't know, I think it's, I think it's cool. I put a little blue bling on the stars there, and I put one on the butterfly on that house. And I, I love dragonflies, so I just thought that was cool as a corner piece. Um, and that's about it. I mean, I just put one piece of metal on each roof, and one kind of focal point. I mean, this house was big enough, so I, I had this already done. It was already completely done. I just pulled it out of my stash and put it there. So that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. I've been dying to do this. I've been Googling and, like, seeing these projects and um, getting inspired for so long. So um, it's finally done. So I'm going to put this on display in my house. And I hope you like it. Guys, check out those... Um, blogs. I'll put the I'll put the information in the description box. All right? Thanks for watching.